Hello from Priest Lake in Idaho. Today I've headed out to the beautiful waters of Priest Lake. Priest Lake is just over the Washington border into Idaho. I actually grew up spending summers out on this lake, camping, boating, tubing with friends, and it has been so long since I've been up here. So huge thank you to Discover Boating for sponsoring today's video and giving me the opportunity to come out here for the day. I found it kind of interesting as I was planning this trip that I have experienced driving boats, especially on this lake, but I've never considered doing a solo boating trip, which kind of surprised me because I'm so into solo travel and pretty adventurous in that regard. And so far I have no complaints. This is pretty awesome. The weather is fantastic. And especially right now, once you get out on the water, you can like take your mask off. It feels like a normal summer activity. I think as a lot of us are finding right now, like normal summer stuff just isn't doable, like going to concerts or fairs or just being out around people. But you get out on a boat and it's like nobody's out here. You can come out here by yourself. You can come out here with like your family, your quarantine circle. Somebody wrote a book talking about how the sight and sound of water is actually good for your health, that it decreases cortisol and increases serotonin, which makes sense because humans like water, like anything that's a water view or waterfront property. completely forgot this until just now being out on this boat. And I think I even posted about this on Instagram when I did it, but a long time ago when I was living in LA, I took sailing lessons to get my certification to sail. I think I'd always seen like sailing in the movies and thought it looked really cool. So I signed up for a course to go out and learn to sail. And in that course, I learned that I prefer a much more relaxing boating experience. Sailing is so hands-on, like so much more than I I ever anticipated. There's something going on at all times. It's like the wind is changing and you have to like zigzag across the wind or you have to pull this rope or switch this thing. And it's like, it's extremely hands-on. If you're into that kind of thing, then it's, it's for you. But I took this course thinking like, I'm gonna get super into sailing. And I was like, yeah, I think I would rather just have a boat like this that has an engine and I can putt around where I wanna go and not worry too much. If you're new to boating and interested in getting into it at all, the Discover Boating website has so many articles about everything boating as well as safety tips. I'm going to put a link to their Recreate Responsibly page down below that has all kinds of tips for staying safe on the water, like wearing your life vest at all times, and tips for safely boating during a pandemic, which is very handy right now. It might be kind of hard to tell, but if you look down the lake, you can see that there are actually little islands that sit in the middle of this lake. When I was a teenager, my best friend's parents had a boat and they would come up here and we would come up here with them and they would drop us off on the island for the night because there are campsites out there and it was so fun just us kids staying out on these islands camping in high school when i think of priest lake i also always think of huckleberries and i found that people that aren't from this region often aren't familiar with huckleberries but they're this tiny little purple berry that's so good they haven't found a way to farm them yet so all huckleberry products are from wild huckleberries, which means they're very coveted. They're pretty hard to find, but they're everywhere here around Priest Lake, like in all of the gift shops and the restaurants, there's like huckleberry pie and huckleberry milkshakes. Well, sunset is setting in, so I'm going to head back to the dock, but this was really fun. I've been really missing doing any kind of travel or like just go outside and like go somewhere new and share it with you guys type of content. And it's been a long time since I've gone on a solo adventure and tried something new or new-ish, like it's not my first time boating, but my first time solo boating. I've made it back to my car, which was definitely different from all of my previous boating experiences. In the past, I've always, like the vibe of going out boating has always been with like my family or a bunch of friends and it's very energetic. People are tubing or wakeboarding. And today it was like very, quiet, the focus was on solitude and just like relaxation. I would imagine that this is kind of what it feels like when you go fishing, like people who like to go out and sit in their fishing boats early in the morning and it's just quiet on the water. If you are ever in this area, I would highly recommend visiting Priest Lake. This place 
has such a special spot in my heart. I love it here so dearly. There's lots of places to camp, there's resorts, there's restaurants, there's hiking. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying your summer and I will see you in the next one. Bye.